Hey everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear Samus, where we are uh, actually done with this whole stealthy section, so now we'll uh, face our boss. It'll be a pretty interesting boss battle, but uh, it can actually screw you over if you don't know what you are doing, because as you can see we are in our uh, naked state, so things will get uh, pretty interesting here. So as you can see here we have these uh, Egyptian looking fancy drawings, murals, and for whatever reason, there's a drawing of uh, our suit, which we lost. So, uh, as you can see, Samus remembers her childhood. So we have a kind of like introspective moment here. Apparently she kind of remembers these uh, ruins. Remembers that she is a fancy looking ass kicker, protector of the galaxy, chosen warrior, no pun intended. And yes, that she can't be pushed around by these red lobster dudes. So uh, yeah, here's our boss. I don't know what's the name of this boss. Chozo Ghost. Chozo Warrior. Or Charlie. Which is uh, the name for this boss. By the speedrunner community, so... But uh, yeah. So uh, the boss itself is just a giant orb which just floats around as you can see. And uh, you have to shoot it when there is a drawing in that orb. So uh, it takes four shots to kill this boss, and uh, when there is no drawing in the orb, as you can see, uh, there's Samus in it. So basically when you shoot the orb when there's Samus in it, then you deal damage by yourself, basically. To yourself, <laughs> that way. So yeah, watch out. As you can see, after the first shot, the boss will start to shoot um, electricity at you. So, the uh, important thing about this boss is to be moving constantly, all the time, because if you won't move, then uh, he'll start shooting these uh, lightning bolts at you and stuff like that. And the interesting thing about this whole room, in particular, is that there are actually walls to the left and to the right, so basically you can use your wall jump here as well, so, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, after this boss, we actually got our suit back. We actually didn't get our suit back, to be honest, because uh, our suit was not uh, actually uh, stolen from us, and uh, this is not our previous suit which we got. This is actually a completely new suit, so apparently uh, Chozo's left spare suit here in these ruins, and yeah, we uh, now retrieved it, so... This suit is almost like our previous suit, but as you can see, all three unknown items are now available to us, so... And also our suit changes color, so now we have purple suit, and uh, if you look closely, it also has uh, this fancy looking uh, green glow to it as well. Also here, where I am pointing my gun, you see there's a small little drawing here, so remember this uh, drawing actually for the ending cutscene, it will be uh, pretty important, so... So yeah, we uh, got our new suit, so uh, now I think it's time to teach these red lobster things a lesson, so uh, let's give them the taste of their own medicine. As you can see, we won't be running away from them anymore, but uh, they'll be running away from us, because we are uh, pretty OP now, as you can see. Everything is very, very easy, uh, which is actually denoted by this... Uh, Music of Triumph, which appears now that we have our suit in this uh, whole place. And yeah, things will be uh, much uh, more easier now for us. So uh, we have three new abilities, so basically our unknown items, which we had before, all three of them, changed their form. So basically now we have access to Plasma Beam. So, uh, Plasma Beam, as you can see, it's uh, much more wider than before. And uh, one interesting thing about this uh, Plasma Beam is that it deals damage per frame. So basically, yes, it uh, passes through enemies, but it deals damage per frame. So basically what that means is that each time, each frame, the beam goes through the enemy, it deals constant damage per frame. So, yeah, as you can see, if the damage stacks up, then uh, it's much more damage than the regular missile. So, that's the thing that you have to remember. So, basically, our beam is pretty OP now. 
So the second ability that we got is uh, we can uh, now, as you can see, uh, move freely in water. So basically, we are not being slowed down when we are in water. And the same thing applies when we are in uh, regular yellowish lava and when we are in uh, bubbly lava as well. So bubbly lava is not dealing damage to us anymore, so basically now we can move freely in it as well. And yeah, we also take uh, less damage uh, from the enemies. But uh, the thing is that you have to remember about hard mode, for example, is that uh, nothing really changes uh, in this section now that we got our suit. <laughs> uh, nothing really changes uh, in this section and uh, in the previous section where we were uh, naked without our suit. Basically, we still die in one hit. We're talking about uh, hard mode on low percent, so yeah, you're basically vulnerable still, even when you got the suit right now. So, but yeah, now we'll be um, heading kind of back, sort of, but uh, we'll be revisiting uh, this place where we have been in, in a naked state only now with our suit. So basically, uh, if you remember in that naked section, there were uh, a lot of different blocks which you could break, for example, missile blocks, but we couldn't do that because we were naked, right? We didn't have access to missiles, but now that we have access to missiles again and uh, all our other goodies, uh, we can, uh, yeah, actually explore this whole place. So, also a third ability which we got right now is uh, our uh, space jump. So basically now we can jump a limited number of times in the air, as you can see. Uh, so basically now wall jumping is kind of obsolete. We won't need it anymore because um, yeah, we can just uh, jump unlimited number of times in the air. And uh, one uh, interesting thing and important thing about this space jump is... Uh, well, as you can see, uh, we also have uh, our screw attack, right? So basically, when you jump unlimited number of times in the air, your screw attack is also being executed. So basically, what it means is that you can also damage enemies in this way as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this suit. It's uh, really, really OP. As you can see, everything is much more easier now. And uh, yeah, the game uh, won't be... Uh, well, hard on us uh, from now on onwards, basically. To be honest, um, there's not too much left in this game anymore. The only thing that we have to do now is to face the final boss, and the final boss, if you remember when we entered this uh, naked section, uh, there was this kind of like eye, which was not the eye of Mother Brain, but some weird-looking mechanical eye. That's the eye, actually, of the final boss uh, of the whole game. So, who will be the final boss? Well, We'll find out actually later, because now, although we are in this uh, final uh, edition in the game, we actually won't be going after the final boss. I'll be here for now just to collect some uh, goodies and uh, to collect our final upgrade as well. If you remember uh, from the previous episode, there was this one uh, red lobster dude who stole some uh, shiny and fancy looking upgrade. So this is actually our final upgrade in the game. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, try to find it. So. And after that, uh, we'll revisit, actually, um, all the previous places where we have been. Because now, with uh, our unknown items, which became known, you know, <laughs> we can, uh, yeah, gain access to many new uh, areas, and we can uh, get all this uh, stuff which we couldn't uh, before. Also, uh, one uh, important thing about this whole place, which I forgot to mention uh, in the previous episode, as you can see, um, now that we have our suit back, well, not back, but we have kind of like new suit, new improved suit. So, um, these red lobster things, they still see you, they still initiate the alarm when they see you. But as you can see, in this whole place, uh, sometimes there are these uh, interesting looking doors, uh, which kind of close when alarm is initiated. Sometimes you can be kind of stuck between these doors. It was apparent in the previous episode when I was in my naked state. Um, Nothing really changes much, what you have to do is just wait and then the alarm kind of goes away. And that's pretty much it. But now that we have our suit, uh, then uh, things are a bit changed in regards to these doors. Basically now, in order for the doors to unlock, you have to actually um, deal with enemies. You have to destroy uh, the red lobsters in order for the alarm to uh, well, turn off. So, because now, yeah, we have access to our beam, which is uh, the improved version of the previous beam. So, yeah, now we can uh, shoot not only through walls, but also through enemies. So, so life is, uh, yeah, much more easier now. I remember when I was uh, playing this game for the first time, I, like, got this suit. 
I was like feeling so rewarded because you know on your first playthrough that previous section that naked section is extremely hard because you don't know where to go you don't know how to go about these red lobster dudes you don't know where to hide you don't know how to proceed forward right you don't know where are all these uh, secret uh, areas you don't know where are these blocks which you can break and stuff so yeah after uh, receiving the suit you feel really really rewarded and um you feel uh, basically like a better person like for real <laughs> so yeah, at first I thought that our uh, suit is stolen, but uh, how could it be stolen uh, if our ship was destroyed, right? So, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, make these uh, episodes uh, not so often. I should make uh, yeah, these episodes uh, much more often so I can uh, remember things. So, Also about that uh, previous boss battle which we had. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting boss battle and um, I think there's no official name for that boss. I think it's just considered like a Chozo Ruins test or something? Are we really worth it? Or something? Or stuff like that? Uh, really, I have no idea. But yeah, pretty interesting boss. Uh, there's a pretty interesting mechanic in regards to it. And uh, as I said before, it can kind of screw you over sometimes because uh, you just don't know simply what to do with it. But once you figure out that you just don't have to shoot whenever there's a Samus in the orb, then um, everything um, goes well. So. Yeah, speaking about uh, this whole place, this Chozoria place, which consists of Chozo Ruins and uh, Space Pirate Mothership, for whatever reason, for me, this whole place uh, was always very, very chaotic, and I always am getting lost in it. So, yeah. <laughs> also, today I had some really bad day in regards to recording my uh, commentary, so in case you hear some random clicks, pops, or that I sound like a broken record, that I fade in, fade out, maybe if I talk too slowly or too fast, well, that means that chipmunks are again, once again, <laughs> invading my PC. But uh, I think I fixed everything as much as I could, so uh, hopefully everything uh, in the end turns out fine. But uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty much on the brink of re-recording the whole commentary, but I didn't want it to do that, so... Hopefully, uh, my skills were enough to at least uh, cover all these things up. Also here you saw uh, to the left uh, there was one secret passage which actually leads us to uh, previous places where we have been, previous locations, so we'll uh, actually visit that uh, hidden passage a bit later. Also there you saw there was uh, one black pirate, so black pirates are extremely hard to deal with. Uh, it takes multiple uh, beam shots to deal with them, as you can see they are extremely fast, way more faster than uh, red uh, space pirates, so yeah, watch out uh, with uh, these dudes, really. What I advise you to do with these uh, uh, black space pirates, just run away, like seriously, you don't want to mess with these dudes, especially on hard mode, where almost everything just kills you in one hit if you're going for low percent, so... Also, there were some uh, green-looking orb things which shoot electricity at you. So the thing is about these things, uh, they kind of deal damage to you when they shoot electricity, but uh, if you destroy them, you can get uh, either health or uh, missiles. Which is pretty important, because as you can see in this whole place, uh, the only enemies which are here are just space pirates, and that's pretty much it. And space pirates, what I forgot to mention about them, they don't drop anything. So yeah, that's why these uh, green electricity things sometimes can be your lifesavers. Also, interesting thing about them, what I uh, figured out only recently actually, that if you hold down your charge beam, you actually attract them to you that way. I didn't knew that, it's like a uh, so small and tiny detail, so yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty interesting thing, really. So, I didn't knew that you can do that. And uh, speaking about that uh, cutscene when we entered this boss battle today, interesting thing about that cutscene is that this is, to my knowledge, the only cutscene in the game which can be skippable. But uh, it can be only skippable um, after you die at the boss battle. Obviously, if you restart the game, you can uh, skip that cutscene. I don't know if it's the only cutscene which can be skippable, but to my knowledge it is. If you know of more things which can be skippable in this game, <laughs> let me know. It's not too important, but uh, I'm just curious, 
just for the sake of time, you know, where can time be saved, basically. Also, there was uh, one uh, interesting uh, looking enemy, which is indestructible, which is a work bot. Basically, uh, it moves really, really slowly, but if you shoot at it, then it moves out of the way and you can proceed further. Uh, to make him go faster, you can use your uh, missiles, or to make him go even more faster, you can use your super missiles. So, Also in this area, there are some uh, yellow doors. As you can see, those can be accessed for now, because we don't have our final upgrade. They can only be um, opened with um, our final upgrade, which we'll uh, receive, I think, actually, yeah, in the... Um, next episode so and yeah if you are wondering what is our goal currently well we have to actually locate that blue escape pod which we saw actually in the previous episode so yeah as you can see we need to escape this whole space pirate mothership and uh, we can only do that via the escape pod but um yeah that place is actually not accessible to us for now so at first we have to find a way to actually open the door to the escape pod. But anyway guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, this will be it for today, and uh, yeah, let's continue our ass kicking in the next episode. So, cheers! And my chipmunks, if you are watching and hearing this, please, spare my life, please. I'll be a good boy, I promise.